universalism is one of those issues that generates more heat than light. And what I'm interested in is the real evidence behind universalism. There are very strong arguments in favour of it and a lot of passion spent on it, but we really don't know very much about what it does for people's sense of solidarity, for their engagement with their system, um, and I think we need to understand that much more before we make quick judgments which we're in danger of making in this current economic crisis. Well, we always do, don't we? We need to be thinking of a whole system, but actually we always think of different services. We have completely different emotional responses to them and completely different sorts of eligibility. Health is something to which we all pay and we use it when we're in need without any regard to financial ability to pay. Housing is something we all pay for and only the very poorest get access to it. And yet I think most of us believe it needs to be there as a safety net. So I think we have muddled attitudes about universalism and muddled attitudes about those services. Every government report I have ever seen wanted an integrated system and I think we all want that because we all know that we are whole people and we need all these services to work seamlessly together but it's fiendishly difficult to do it and this debate is a really important part of that because it's part of recognising that actually how we finance each bit of it will affect whether or not the system works together. A committee just recommending it won't deliver that. I think demographic challenge means that we should focus much more clearly on the future of social care and it is deeply disappointing that we are still 15 years on from when we first started talking about this, still not coming up with a sensible financial settlement which recognises precisely how much the individual would pay and how much the state should pay. Until we've got that, I can't see the NHS as being long-term sustainable because the, simply the demographic challenge will be too great for it.